New face, huh? You from off world? Yep, Captain Denise of the Unreliable. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair, sit a spell, and revel with us? By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> what are you celebrating? Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered. Free responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. What could be so bad and made you walk off the job? It ain't any one thing but the sum of it all. Having to work longer shifts for less bits. And the wages we do earn don't cover as much as they used to. Our supervisor, Velma, goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch, we're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. We need to talk about Velma, actually. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? So... Velma's threatening to replace you with sublight contractors. Nope. I'm calling her bluff. If she wants to threaten us, we'll see how she likes it when Sanjar finds out she gave sublight even more dominion in Stellar Bay. Any suggestions for how to put pressure on Velma to negotiate? If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. The others wanted to blackmail her, but we're above that. Besides, them are just rumors. We got no proof they're true. What's this about blackmail now? I would never endorse such an untoward tactic, you know, but, well, there's rumors that Velma's taking a cut off the profits. Mm -hmm. So far, it's just gossip, you know, but if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Well, well, well. So... That would be very messed up of her to pocket some stuff while complaining about how the workers are not quote unquote working hard enough. I definitely want to investigate this rumor though because if it is what true, do you think of the unreliable Parvati. There's always something to fix, and it's neat working in the Aether. I always took Atmo for granted. Now, if I drill through the hole, we all suffocate. Exciting, you know? No. I, I'm not sure I wanted to know that. Being in space sets me on edge enough. You know about stellar emissions? A actually, I probably shouldn't tell you about those. Yeah, that would be wise. Not unless you want to know how we're all likely to get spacers lung. What? Right. Okay. When we get back to the ship, I'm drinking this conversation right out of my recollection. Stop scaring the newbie, please. I actually want her in my crew, Pravati. Come on. Alright, so if there's actual proof, let me go over to the Saltuna warehouse. And if the rumor is true, boy, Vama, Vama is a piece of work if she's trying to pull that off. All right, let me see if there's any proof here. I don't know what I'm finding exactly, but... Hold on. Hold on. If I was a piece of paper, right, that had blackmail-type evidence, where would I be? Velma's there. Huh. The kitchen? Okay. Would this be her office right here? Let me see. Huh. And a nice piece of gun. Huh. 
Come on. So... Can't even... Wait, let me see. The fish in tank 23A are looking a little lumpy. If you're not going to make it in, that's fine. But you have to let me know so I can stay on top of the closes. We really need to talk about the Saltuna situation. I've had to let four batches rot in the warehouse over the last two months because we're not finding buyers. I know the situation with the board puts us in a tough spot, but we need to start thinking about how we're going to keep Sail Bay afloat if, we're, if we can't get sales up. Seriously, where are you? You've missed three shifts. This is getting ridiculous, even for you. I decided to put off that quest for now because of the fact that I refused to steal his caps in favor of helping Velma because I feel like Velma is being really shady with refusing to pay for her employees' wages and the fact that there's rumor that she's low-key stealing the funds as well is definitely rubbing me the wrong way. So for now, I decided to go ahead and pick out the quest where I am helping this mom find her son. And just to let you guys know, I really do appreciate you and thank you for watching this week's The Outer Worlds. I do appreciate your love and support. Now let's go and see why the son decided to run away. Okay, let me go and just put away my gun because I am not trying to shoot anyone accidentally. Well, hello, and welcome to the home of the iconoclasts. I'm Rose. Please take a pamphlet. In it, you'll find everything you need to know about Graham, his philosophist truths, and the iconoclast way. He wrote it himself, you know. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting we're out of pamphlets. Gosh, blast it. You're offering me a pamphlet you don't have. I'm so sorry. It's a habit, I suppose. We used to have plenty, but we ran out of paper and ink. Ever since the corporations left, it's been hard to come by the basics. But you know what we do have? Freedom. This is the only place in Halcyon you'll find it. No corporations, no shackles, no problems. No problems? What about raptodons or marauders? Oh, those are just hurdles. We deal with them as they come. Wow. You're welcome to stay with us, so long as you can earn your keep. You're so positive about this. It's like one big happy family, huh? That's a nice way to think about it. Graham would be our father. I suppose Zora might make a good mother if the two of them could stop arguing. Mm. You can think of those two as our leaders, but they're more like examples. We all ought to be more like them. So, hey, before I go, I'm looking for a Tucker. Have you seen him? The new boy. Yes, yeah. he's quite clever. He took to our teachings very quickly. Last I saw him, he was headed into one of the buildings up the hill. Thank you, Rose. I appreciate Seems it. Seems like a nice little town. Except for all the dead critters. The folks in Amber Heights always manage to find a bottle or two of the good stuff. Keen scavengers, I tell you. Nioka and Pravati are getting along very well. Pretty happy about that. Alright, so the kid is in one of those buildings, so... Let's see exactly what's going on as to what made him run away from his dear poor mama. Looks like I'm not the only new face around here. What do I call you, stranger? Uh, you're not a boy, but it's Captain Denise. Welcome to Amber Heights, Captain. Call me Tucker. You here to join the Iconoclasts? Help us free this world? Tucker, your Agnes little boy from Stella Bay? I am not a little boy. Oh, I haven't shit. been one for decades, no matter what my mama wishes. I take it she's still looking for me? 
Yeah. I hope she'd accept my decision. So she made it seem like you were in danger, asked me to rescue you. According to her, stepping foot outside of the house in broad daylight is too dangerous. My entire life she crammed a fear of danger down my throat. Don't go play with friends. Mantasaurs will tear your arms off. Don't leave the city. Raptodons will spit acid on your face. Marauders can violate you. You'd fall in a sulfur pool. Yeah, that sounds like her. I stuck around way too long, ruled by her fears. I'm 42 years old, but she Damn. still sees me as a little boy in need of her protection. I won't stand for it, I tell you. Um, oof, oof, yeah, I've, honestly, that is between you and your mom, and I'm sorry she's treating you like a little kid, but in all honesty, what do you want to do about it? I mean, she, she'll keep sending people to look for you. Stars, I don't know. My mama's a stubborn woman. She won't quit until I'm dead. Mm. You know, what? that might just work. Oh, you no. You go back and tell her you found my body beside the road, all mangled and tore up. If she believes me dead, she won't look for me no more. Tucker, you're fucked up, bro. You want to fake your own death to avoid talking to your mother? I know it sounds extreme. Because it is. I can't go back. Why? I just can't. Why? This is the only way I can think of to be free. <sighs> You're okay with her thinking you died. Don't you think that'll hurt her? I hate to think of her grieving, but it'll be good for her to move on. In the long run, you know? What if she has a heart attack because of that? No, I won't do that to Agnes. I'm plain out of ideas then, Captain. I won't go back, and I can't think of a better way to get my mama to stop searching for me. Oh, bro, listen. Running away is for cowards. You need to face her and show her you've grown. She doesn't want to see me as anything other than her baby boy. Why would I go back again? What'll be different this time? You know what? Teach her the iconoclast philosophies. Convert her so she might join you in freedom. <sighs> You're right. I can do this. Mm -hmm. I just need to stand my ground and make her see she can't control me anymore. No one can. Exactly. See? There you go, Tucker. That a boy. Alright, in that case, let me go and return to Stella Bay. See how that conversation went. Well, well, well. Look at this. Mother and son together. Oh, Captain, you did it! My little boy is back safe and sound! Tell the Captain how grateful we are, Tuck Tuck. Tuck Tuck! Mama, I told you that I'm not staying. I just came back to talk to you about why I left. Then I'm going back to Amber Heights. Okay, Tuck Tuck, you tell her. Oh, we'll get that silliness sorted out. You're safe here with me, and that's how it's going to stay. Isn't that right? Your son is a grown man. It's time you started treating him like one. What a sour thing to say. So? My little boy will always need me. I'm his mama, you know. Mama, what I need is for you to listen to what I want for once. Yeah, Tuck Tuck. that's between <clears throat> us. Now you promised the captain a reward, so settle up. Then you and me are gonna have a long talk. Oh, shit. Here, kind stranger. This is every bit I've scrimped and scraped for years to save. But it's more than worth it to have my Tuk Tuk home safe again. I can't get over the nickname of Tuk Tuk. Good luck to you both. Seriously, Tuk Tuk, good luck. May the eternal truth guide you. Good luck in all that you do. Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. I'm Denise. You run a store out here? It ain't really a store. Think of me more like a quartermaster, and a chef, and a handyman, and 
whatever else we need. Wow, you definitely wear many roles. That's that sucks. Um, a quartermaster for the iconoclast. We gotta eat. Eating means hunting. Hunting means armaments. We used to let people take what they will, but then some idiot shot some other idiot over cards. Damn. So tough. Zora set up a system. You fuck up, you don't get to buy gear. You play nice, you do. That seems like a very good system. Anything you need help with. Yeah, plenty. If you're the type to fix a thing or two, I've got a couple reports I need to follow up on. The pipes up on Milton's house burst. Someone needs to shut them off. Then there are the cables outside the bar. A sprat chewed through them, and now they're spitting lightning. Then there's the old guardhouse outside town on the way to the old Bayside Terrace. Someone needs to reset the comms breaker there. Wow, things are really falling apart around here. That's one way to look at it. Another is, those are the only things in this whole fucking town that are broke. Maybe we appreciate that. Mister, there's something I've been wondering since we got here. How do you protect your wires from sulfuric degradation? Oh, easy. Most of the wildlife here seems to tolerate the sulfur. So we wrap our copper in wrapped bits. Hides, tongues, whatever's pliable. Huh, that's creative. All right, if I get a chance to fix things up, I'll update you. I ought to tell you. Most of these systems are routed through one of our terminals. You might be able to handle some of them remotely if you know your way around a computer. We sent Milton out to check on the comms tower a while ago. He ain't heard back. I'd wager he got eight. Mm, damn. Where's this terminal? Up the hill. It's right on the cliff's edge. Okay, thanks for the tip. So I decided to go back to the Econo class because I am trying to increase my hacking skill. Right now it's at level 26 with the upgrade I just did, which really sucks. So in order for me to complete the quest with Velma, I need to have a hack of level 40 to be able to get into the computer. So I'll do a couple other side quests, and then once I reach my my level 40 hack, I'll be able to go back to that one. You meditate today? If not, you should. Hey, nothing wrong with meditating indeed. Let me go ahead and do some of these odd jobs for them. Rerouter. Let me see what this is about. I definitely want to help out as much as possible. That way, if I need something from them, they can easily just lend me a hand. E what's up? Okay. That was this. Oh, it's it's outside. Alright, let me let me go outside. There you go. Oh shit. Oh, can I nah I can't oh oh damn I can't even get close. Shit. Alright, so I'll definitely leave that for last. Let me see if I'm able to do the other... The other thing here. Um... So it's upstairs, right. What the hell is this? Alright, I'm gonna attempt to climb. Maybe? Maybe not? Ugh. I stepped on some nasty shit. Let me climb through the other way. I just love how there's so many dead animals casually lying on the street. Damn. They really are just letting them get on the street. Alright, so how am I supposed to do this? Oh! Oh, okay. Nice, that's fixed. Alright, so I have to go and... I'll actually... I'll actually head on out to check on the breaker. See what's going on with that. 
Okay, so this is the breaker here. Huh, it looks like when we killed all of these animals earlier, they were hogging all around this area. Huh. That's not bad, actually. So the last thing to do is just to reroute the electrical wiring. Blah. Reroute the electrical wiring. Damn, my lazy ass mouth. Okay, so let's see if the wiring is still acting up. I really hope not. Yes, perfect. Oh, all right. All right, here's what I'm going to do. You ready? Boy, I got, come on, use. Oh, my God. That was really tough. Got myself electrocuted how many times? Uh, I guess either way, I was bound to get hurt, regardless if I was careful or not. Alright, my man, I did all of your little tasks, so... What are you buying? Hey, I fixed all your stuff. I'll be damned. Thanks for doing that. Here. Zora sets aside a bit or two for people who help out. Before you ask, no, it ain't pay. Just being generous to folks who do a good turn. Yes, I appreciate that, my man. I appreciate that a lot. A Manta Queen. Yeah, we felled it, mind. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. Oh shit, they have seen us hearing and listening to their conversation. Hi! Hi! Um... Who should I talk to? I'll talk to you. Gonna need to buy myself an entire Rizzo plant after all this. Okay, I'll talk to you. A stranger comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you've found one. If you're looking for a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the Iconoclasts. I'm told you're out of pamphlets. That's a shame. Ah, yes. The first step to accepting the truths of philosophism is to open your heart to its wisdom. I've found the written word to be quite effective in helping people do that. But alas, the eternal truth hasn't been generous with the paper and ink. Now, why have you come? I'm just looking for ways to help the people here. Anything need doing? A great many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or... Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. A printing press on Monarch? Oh, yes. Many facilities lie abandoned in the wilderness. I believe the press could be operational again with a little elbow grease and luck sounds to me like a nifty little challenge such enthusiasm yes i agree wholeheartedly our own little fixer upper will you aid us in our cause sure wonderful i requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago huxley should have delivered them yesterday speaking of which where is huxley you bought rollers you haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Wait, where is Huxley? It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. MSI supplies you? One of our sympathizers. A woman named Carlotta periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly. Though the goods now come at a considerable markup. So where is the supplier? She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. All right, I'll be back. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, 
food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Okay, so Zara is not too keen about him trying to get him to buy stuff that's not necessarily necessary. Like food, all that stuff. Nice day, huh? The monarch, anyway. But either way, I'll definitely help out as much as possible. And let's go and see Carlotta. Who the hell is that? Niles? Okay, well, this Niles person better be friend, or I have to pop a cap in your ass. Excuse me, but this area's off limits. We got a leaky generator. It ain't safe. Oh, so you're That's a That's my nice way of telling you to saw it off. Mmm. What's going on here? We're fixing a leaky generator. What's it to you? So, what's with the generator? What are you, a safety inspector? It's busted. Pumping out gas. It ain't safe. Mmm, right. So, you're just standing around this fence, though. Shouldn't you be fixing it? Oh, whoops. I'll get right on that, boss. Hope to send in my performance review. Hmm. First of all, I need to get inside. And I'm just gonna let you walk on in? Why is that now? You're here for Curiola. I get it. I'll offer. You get paid. We all go home with a win. Hell, I ain't gonna pass up free bits. Make it painful. Yes, I love lying. I just love lying. I'll kill all you guys later, like dead ass. All right, let me see. It's too quiet. What are you up to out there? Hello? Uh, Carlotta, is that you? Yeah, and for the hundredth time, I'm not opening this door. Who are you, anyway? I'm Denise. Graham sent me to collect supplies. Oh, for... Finally! Tell Graham that this is the last run I'm doing. Sanjar's declared a stop sale to you lot, but even if he hadn't, I'm not risking my neck anymore. Okay, I'm friendly. I don't know how you got those goons to leave, but thank you. Graham ordered rollers and what's-its, right? For a printing press? Here, take them. Like I said, this is my last run. Why did Sandra ban you from working with the Iconoclast? You'd have to ask him. All I know is that if I get caught, I'll get arrested. Damn, that's pretty extreme. Why have you been helping Graham? It's an enviable thing he's doing. Free people and all that. I can't live that way. I need my structure, but I respect the Iconoclasts for doing it. Where would they get their supplies now? Law help them. I don't know. Maybe Sublight can lend a hand. I should go. Look, Graham's got a bit or two left in his account. I can send one last dropout before I wash my hands of this. What do you want delivered? Zora suggested extra food and medicine. I always took that woman for the sensible type. Good on her. I'll send some along. Give them all my regards. And good luck out there. Don't go getting eaten. Trust me, I won't. And there's a few goons in here. What's this? I know I get distracted, but I like finding all these nice good things. And as far as those goons, if they're still out there, I'm just going to whoop ass. Damn, look at all these things. So much loot at this point. I am loving it. Alright, time for me to head on out. Let me see something. Are they still there? I bet they are, huh? I guess... Oh! Guess what? 
time for me to whoop some ass or not they just left through here the tunnels you know what i'm not even gonna question it i'm telling you the van noise are fine bullshit graham they don't just abandon orders and they weren't at the ruins where in this sulfur sodden hellhole did you send them they're on a very important... Ah, we'll continue this later. Welcome back, Captain. I like how Grim just keeps on putting it off. Like, clearly Zura is concerned. Um, I got your rollers. The rest of your account went to food and medicine. Thank the Eternal that someone's got some sense in their head. Carlotta usually schedules the next drop during the meeting. When's she coming? So... She isn't. Sandra has declared a stop, a stop sale on goods to the iconoclasts. That is most unfortunate. This cuts off one of our only two supply lines on Monarch. Sandra, our old friend, you're about to cross a dangerous line. About to? That idiot just declared war. I... we will deal with his subversion later. For now, we must redouble our efforts to spread the truth to the colony. Ooh, okay, so what's next? I've already sent a team ahead to scout the press. One of our best. Meet them there and find out if they've been successful. You sent the Van Noys there, didn't you? Oh, shit. Oh, for fuck's sake, Graham. We needed them in the ruins. Our people died out there. They went willing to fight for our cause. We need reinforcements. We need new recruits. The Van Noys saw the printing facility with the same importance as I. The hell's the sense in recruiting if you're just gonna get them killed? True. I have the utmost confidence in their abilities. Friends, we must have faith that the men and women we recruit can handle the duties for which we recruit them. Okay. So... You could have sent them after backing Zora up, right? Yes, you're damn right he could have. But he's so obsessed with preaching that he's become blind to our actual problems. Look, just... If the Vernois are still alive, get them out of there. With Sanjar pressing the issue like this, I have a feeling we'll need them. I'll do everything I can. Thank you for watching this episode. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.